Hello and welcome back everyone to Human Resource Machine. We are going to take a look at year 35, the duplicate removal. So the goal of this one is to send everything from the inbox to the outbox, but eliminate duplicates. So if we have C, D and D and C again, we would only send C, D to the outbox because C, both C and D have already been sent before. Um, if that makes any sense. Uh, so... The way I went about it, let's actually go with this one first because that is what gives us the speed challenge. Um, I copy from 14, which is 0, copy it to max index, and um, well, my max index basically indicates where we are currently on the floor because obviously I need to store the information which ones we've already sent somewhere. So I'm going to start with 0 and store these inputs on the floor. A max index will indicate the last. Um, tile on the floor that we're going to use uh, or that's currently the rightmost one um, inbox um, copy to input obviously we need to store our input value somewhere um, copy from max index so essentially what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to iterate downwards so I copy from max index copy that to the current index so the current index will be where I store the information which tile I'm currently comparing with. Um, if the current index is zero, we are at the leftmost bit, so then we do not go any further. So that's what that check is for. Um, if we are somewhere in the middle, we copy from the input, subtract the um, thing that is at the current index. If it's zero, we don't have to output anything. We can jump right back to the start and inbox again. Uh, if it is um, not zero, uh, we bump minus our current index, so jump one tile further to the left and then go back up here and um, do the comparison until we either hit zero or um, as in um, we hit a, a value that we already output or we hit a zero as in the zero index. Um, if we hit a value that um, we um, sorry. If if we hit an a value that um, is not already on the floor, we bump up our max index so that we um, essentially open up a new tile to store. Uh, we copy from the input, copy it to that tile, and then also outbox, and then we jump back up. So let's go through this couple times to see what's actually going on. Uh, we got max index, we got our C, we copy the max index to the current index. Uh, our max index is already zero so we can immediately go down here, bump up our max index, copy from input, copy it to our max index which is one so we're not going to store anything, anything in the zero tile just because it's a little bit easier if you keep this uh, free you can um, do the zero check a little bit easier without her worrying to also output this then uh, and then we outbox now we go back to the start we take the next thing which is D uh, we reset our current index um, current index is not zero so we have to do the comparison we take our input subtract the current index which is uh, one which is the C uh, it's not zero, so we continue, we bump minus our current index, we hit zero. Uh, so this is where, where we do the comparison, we hit zero, so we go right down here. S again, we have something we haven't seen before, so we bump up our max index, copy from input, and copy it to the new max index. So we have C, D now. Next thing is we hit something that we already have, the D in this case, copy it to the input, reset our current index, copy from the input and compare it to the current index and that is zero so we don't have to output anything and don't have to store anything new so we can go right back to the inbox. We get our C, reset our current index, copy from input, compare it to the current index, that's not the same so we have to go on, we bump minus our current index we copy from the input, we compare it to the new current index, that is zero, so we can discard that as well. And then we go on like that, we have our A, we reset the max index, 
we compare the a to the first thing, it's not zero. So we bump minus our current index, we compare to the next thing, not, not zero either. We hit zero as our current index, so we know we have something new. We bump up our max index, and then we store the new thing, outbox it, and go to the next. And so on and so forth. And there we have our output. That gives us the size challenge. 17 out of 17 commands, unfortunately, slightly above the speed challenge. So therefore I built a second version for the speed challenge. Um, I'm not using max index and uh, current index and iterate from the, from the uh, right to the left. But in this case, what I'm doing is I create a zero terminated string on the floor. Um, the first thing I do is I just inbox right away and copy it to zero because I know that the first thing can't have been already in the queue. So I inbox, copy to zero and outbox. Then I also copy from the 14, which is the zero and copy it to one. So essentially I start my the zero terminated string here. Um, nice thing about that is that I can use that same zero to copy it to the index fields. The index will go from left to right in this case. Um, I inbox, copy it to the input field and subtract zero, which is uh, something I have to do always because zero is now filled. So um, that therefore this is hard coded. Um, if it's zero, already and um, we know that this is already the same and I can jump right back to the inbox. If it's not zero I bump up my index, uh, copy from the index field or well, the, the indexed field. Um, if that is zero we've reached the end of our string so we can go down here um, which is the case that we didn't have a duplicate in the inbox so we need to create a new entry. Um, in that case we copy from the input uh, copy it to the current index which is pointing to the zero in in the first case it will be on field one uh, then we outbox that whole thing bump up the index and uh, add the zero the, the trailing zero to our um, tiles on the floor so we copy from 14 which is zero copy to the new bumped index and then go right back to the start um, in case we hit a zero so we find the same uh, thing on the on the floor that we have in our input um, we uh, Sorry in case we, we didn't hit the trailing zero uh, we subtract the input from What we have at our current index if that is zero we go right back to the start so we can just discard it if it is not zero we go Up here bump up our index so go basically to the next thing on the right uh, Let's just go through that real quick. So initiate um, the initiation step, we take the C, outbox it right away, put the trailing zero onto our string on the floor, put that to the index as well. And that's the first thing that we have to do always, so we can just hard code that in that case. Uh, we put the, inbox, the, the D to the input, we compare it to our first thing, it's not zero, so we know that it's not the same. We bump up our index, check whether we have a zero. In this case we do. So we know that this is a new input. We copy from our input field, copy to the zero, outbox it, and then we add our trailing zero. We bump up our index um, and we add the zero to where the new index points. And then go right back to the start. We copy the zero to our index. Fortunately for us we already have a zero in hand, so that's great. Uh, we take the input, in this case a D again, compare it to the first thing, it's not the same, so no zero. Bump up our index, compare to the next thing. Now we have a zero, so we can discard it. So next thing, we, com we have copied the zero that we just um, calculated to the index, so very fortunate with all the zeros, very convenient. Now we take the next thing, it's a C, we put it to our input, we compare it to the first one. It's already a zero, so we can just discard it right away. Take the next thing, put it to the input. We subtract the first thing, it's not zero, so we can go on. Bump up our index, 
copy from the new indexed field do the comparison here not a zero so we bump up our index again copy from the indexed field in this case we hit a zero so we have to reach the end of our string and uh, we copy the new letter to the end of our string outbox it and then bump up our index and add the trailing zero and then we go on like that Twenty-three commands, so no size challenge, but we are way below the speed challenge limit. And that's yet thirty-five, the duplicate removal. See you next time.